that first deal and the next stop is to go drop off a bunch of watches to the watchmaker but he's still out running an errand so to kill some time we're gonna go ahead and take an early lunch and then go do that and go meet Frank after dropping off watches. Where are we eating? Edoku. Edoku. It's Edoku or Edoku. I don't know. It's my sushi spot in Frisco guys if you're ever out there watch what we're about to have. fill out the form online but i just don't have like the book and everything it's in like a safety deposit box so i was wondering like is it okay to still fill it out or do you need me to like go get it and uh, acquire that no no that's fine if just if you just list what you have the reason we ask that is to kind of cut down steps if you tell me what year it is and it's got a box and papers and then you send a picture of the watch we can see the condition, we know what it has with it, we can quote you a, a price faster and it just cuts down a step. A lot of people just ask, you know, they'll start the conversation with, I have this watch, what will you pay for it? And we have to go back and say, well, you know, what year is it? Does it have box and papers? What's the condition like? Can you send me pictures? And it's just, the idea is to cut those steps out. Yeah. So, what do you have? Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll go ahead and you can send the form in just so it goes to my back end team, but just to give me an idea, what do you have? I have a, a auto, like an offshore. It's a, the black themed one. It's just like the black chronograph. Uh, rubber That's pushers, cool. black bracelet, closed case back? Yeah, I have both like the rubber and uh, the metal band. Okay, you're looking in the mid teens to sell. Consignment, you'd be looking high teens, low 20s, depending on, again, condition. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's pretty like spotless. Okay. And I was just like, I wanted to just like, obviously like online, you see like such a, a wide range of prices. Right. So I was just trying to see like what they're actually like selling for. It's just a and I didn't want to like just get the form out there and then like just waste somebody's time. Realistically, they're selling for a, a mint condition pre-owned set around 20 grand off the top of my head. Uh, it's been, it's been a month or two since I've sold that watch. So I don't know exactly what the market's doing as of today, but ballpark is around 20. Okay, cool. So, All right, yeah, then I'll, uh, I'll send the form over. When you put that form in, just put as many notes as possible. Uh, you know, you've got an extra strap, you've got box, papers, booklets, everything. And then for the picture, all I really need is a picture of the watch. And for APs, specifically the bezel, because the money is in the bezel. Cool? All right, cool. All right, yeah. man. All right, thanks, man. I appreciate it. All right, talk soon. Dropping that off for Polish, Blue Sky, and the Debethune. How's it going, man? Hello, how are you? Good. So this one, is it possible to get back by tomorrow? Yes. Okay. These two are not a rush. Sounds good. Um, you mean to give this to Vic or? Yes, I'll have him. When will it be done, you think? This evening. This evening? Okay. Yeah. I'll have yeah. him come by and get it. You got it. Thank you, man. Thank you. Have a good one. Next stop, <clears throat> car dealership. All right, let's go. Want a new car? Huh? Yeah. Let's get both. <laughs> let's yeah. That's what it is. Every time he gets a hard to sell watch, he dumps it on yeah, us. But then he doesn't want. Guy, but then he doesn't even want us to make our our commission rates. That was what pissed me off. Was that he want he dumped. He's trying to do the whole net thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he dumped one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in watches on us that are hard to sell, and then he wanted yeah, me to take three yeah. percent commission. I'm, I'm like, dude, it's a waste of my time. I can buy these watches cheaper on call, and then. Right. 
Then I flew the watches back out to him. I helped him get a better deal, and still, so no. If all right, all right, forget this guy. He sounds like a pain in the ass. That dude is a huge pain in the ass. Well, Hurry up. I come very good. Hey, 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 man, how are you? How are you? Good, good to see you. Have one. Thanks. Do what? Hey, hey, is, that house, is that microphone house broken? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he doesn't do drugs either. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Which is crazy. <laughs> Thank you. As far as you know. <laughs> as far as we know, right? You know? Yeah, have a seat. Thank you, sir. Bye, guys. Whoa. Insane. Insane. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you guys do a nice job. Try right? on. He's, uh, it weighs like 20 pounds. Oh, shit. <laughs> need a sling. Yeah, what a difference, dude. I mean, made all the wow. difference in the world. That polish. Yeah, and, oh, yeah. and the links. I mean, oh, yeah. it's just, oh, yeah. Yeah, it fits me. It's badass. Just take a look at my normal stuff, though, if you want to do the normal stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. It's almost twice the watch. Isn't it? It's crazy. Yeah, I've literally never seen I've, yeah. I've, I've seen the picture 48 feel that thing, too. Oh, it's... Wow. Okay, so guys, this is what I wear. I wear a 41. <laughs> yeah, but he's got huge wrists. Look at that. <laughs> Come on. Isn't that nuts, man? It's crazy. And it That's look, the size of my desk clock. It, it, it doesn't look like that on him. <laughs> nope. It, it, on, this on him looks like this on me. It does, right? Uh, do you want to size it to you? No, it's perfect, dude. You like it that way? Yeah, I think I do. Yeah. Sure. No, I'm gonna try. Let's see. Yeah, just a little, not yeah. a lot though. Because otherwise, it's like just it. gonna go around on your wrist. Yeah. And you got big wrists. How's it that? Love it. Good. I knew you would. Can I, I took it. To I took it the other so. night. Probably shouldn't put this on camera, but we're going to anyway. Yeah, three. I'm thinking about buying another one, just because it's fun. Dude, they're badass. And I was so like, I, I got one that just came too. So, well, I want that G wagon, you know. I mean, no, I'm not getting that. I'm just gonna buy another one. <laughs> I took it the other night, and drove it to the gym. I was like, man. I love this. And like, I don't care about driving and putting miles on the Lambo. I don't give a shit. But there's a lot of places I'd probably rather not yeah. Yeah. drive it. Not because I'm worried about getting robbed. I'm more yeah. worried about people like scratching it and taking the pictures on it. Yeah. The parking, yeah. So there's, there's the gyms that I go. Well, like if I go boxing, I can't get that. I'm, I just don't trust the parking garage. Yeah. Um, so yeah. it's either take the wagon or something else. But it's just fun. Like, and... The other thing I was thinking of is I want something that's just stupid fast. I was considering twin turbo in the Lambo. Twin turbo on that through underground is minimum seventy five grand. Minimum. Minimum. It'll hold the value is a good thing, but do I want to spend seventy five? Not really. What could I twin turbo a vet for? Thirty grand at most. And, and I you can get that thing close. Horsepower. Yeah, you can get a thousand horsepower. You'll get a thousand horsepower out of that thing. Easy. That's for about 30? Easy. <laughs> hey, I mean, that car's a beast the way it is right now. I mean, you just yeah. do anything else to it, it's just fun for a right. See, I kind of want something to yeah. do this. <laughs> yeah, they're done. Is that too loose? Perfect. No, I like it like this. I can always get a link out. That's easy. I, mean, I want to go look at cars. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So listen, I don't know if you're a coupe guy, but you need to look at the silver coupe. Show them the silver coupe we just got in. Because okay. that's a bad boy. It's a 3LT, and it's a bad boy. Dude, this thing's bad. And it's the right color. I think it's Maybe we shouldn't go out there. I know. You can go look <laughs> at it. Come on, we got to explore it a little bit. Well, I mean, there it is. It's got the, the black stripe on it. It looks just like silver. Basic. I would grab it. It's going to be crazy. You can do that too, yeah. You're supposed to have got a turbo in it. You know what I liked about this, though? Just all the black accents. Yeah. You know, it's got a shitload of black accents. And the car is brand new. And then it, these are the GT2 seats. So that's your carbon fiber bucket seats. That's your, that's what you're getting with a 3LT that you can't get in a 1LT. So is this convertible too or not? Cool. But the whole top part here comes off. So it gives you a nice big area there as well. I love the convertible. Yeah, convertible is badass. But if he's going to make it, you know, 1,000 horsepower, you want this this sturdiness and stability of the hard top. That's the difference on it. So. I think. I'm not buying another car. So this is, that's an option as well. So that's the red Corvette cover that goes on it there. And then you got the carbon fiber support on it that goes with the seat package. And then your top literally goes right here and stores clips right in here. Yeah. So it's easy storage on it. And that's your factory top on there too with the two ghost stripes on it. This is stuff that was ordered from the factory this way. So, and this one's got like seven miles on it. Brand, like really brand new car. Just take it for a spin. I know you're good for it, so go ahead. Appreciate oh you. Well, I appreciate you too. <laughs> All right, man. Be good. All right. So, um, thank yes. you. Thank you.
It's going to be badass to change the strap out. You'll never get bored of this watch. You have a screwdriver set, right? Yeah, that would be lucky. Yeah, so you've got to hold, or you got to put one in there, hold it, and then, because it screws on both sides. So you put this one in and hold it, and then just pull it down against it to hold it in place. And then unscrew that side. Unscrew one side. This goes up in it like that. Hold that in place. Dude, that looks cool. This is called the teardrop. This is what happens when you put the clasp on backwards. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> the teardrop.